Hey guys, it's Kendall, uh, co-founder of LawnBot here. I want to personally uh, welcome you to our new LawnBot dashboard. We've been working really hard on this. Eric has just been coding his face off and we've been working extremely hard on it these last three months. I want to take you through just a quick tour. Um, this is going to be a really quick video taking you through a really high level of what you can expect in this dashboard, where this is headed, and um, some key features in it. So let me uh, make this bigger. Uh, let's see if I can expand it. Boom. Awesome. So within the dashboard, uh, this is what you see when you first log in. Um, this is your main, uh, we call it the main stage. This is where all your KPIs are. Um, this is where you can see all of your chats, all of your sales, any all of the revenue being sold through your lawn bot. So um, you got the chat style here. That is anybody that starts a chat with, um, you know, anybody that engages the lawn bot uh, platform. That's when we count a chat. Uh, the, you'll see the next tile here is leads. That is considered anybody that has been shown uh, pricing. So any pricing given, given, they would show under the leads category here. Sales, obviously that's self-explanatory. That's somebody that um, signs up and pays for service. And then uh, obviously revenue is revenue sold. So all of your sales revenue. We think this is um, going to be great for our, cu our customers because you can look at one spot and see, hey, you know, we're selling 33% of people are interested in mowing. Maybe we should do a mowing newsletter. Or, hey, our pest control sales are down, but we want to increase that because we know it's more profitable. These are all things that we're thinking about as we're building out uh, the LawnBot dashboard. So as you can see here, you got your sales breakdown by service category, your service type. Um, what else is cool is uh, the amount quoted and amount sold. So you can see, hey, we're quoting a ton in mowing, but um, we're not selling much in mowing. Uh, so a lot of people are interested. Do we need to switch something up with how we're selling it through LawnBot to get more conversions? So this is the dashboard, or <laughs> sorry, the dashboard page. Uh, what you'll see as soon as you log in. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner, I want to. The next thing I want to cover is support. Um, so anytime you need help uh, with anything regarding your LawnBot, ReviewBot, or Measure It service, uh, you have a direct chat widget right here. You can just click on this. And you'll be directly connected with our team. So you can chat directly with me, Lori, uh, Eric um, are the three main people that provide support. Uh, and what's really cool about this is we're able to actually see what you're looking at. So if you have an issue, you're like, hey, what's up with this quote? Or I thought we were doing this. Or, hey, I want to run a special on aeration and overseeding. You could simply just chat our team here. And it goes right to our support inbox. And... Um, we're able to interact with you there. Also, as we're building in features and functionality, we are building a formal help desk. Uh, so a knowledge base where you can go read articles on common questions that our customers have. Um, so some ways that we've been thinking about it is some folks, uh, they want to know like, hey, we how, how do you how do we hook LawnBot up to HomeAdvisor? So there'll be like a whole article on... Um, how you hook up a lawn bot to home advisor, uh, step by step, exactly how it's done. If you are more of a do it yourselfer, and a video accompanying with that article showing you exactly how to do it. So we're super pumped about that because uh, what we realized is we were getting a lot of the same questions, and we figured it'd be easier for our customers and us if it was more scalable where you could log into one spot. So that's on the support front. We're really excited about this. Um, and I think it's going to be a total game changer. So this chat bubble will always be here. You can see Lori just popped in. Hey, how can I help you? So uh, <laughs> pretty cool that we're testing it right here on, on the chat. So we we want support to be the best. Uh, we've studied a lot of different software programs. Support is number one. We want to be here for our clients. So boom, we're right there. We're a chat away from fixing your issue. And we can actually see whatever you're looking at. So let's dive into this a little bit here. So from the dashboard, um, let's first let's look at leads. So these are where all your leads are going to populate. Um, this is the feed essentially, uh, and as you can see within the leads, uh, 
it's in order of the the order that it came in. So when your leads load, um, it will be in order of the most recent. So it'd be the most recent to the oldest. And you can see here, um, the measure image is loading in. Uh, the name, address, phone number for the client is loading in. And also we populate it on a map. There's only one push pin on the map because <laughs> we're using the same address here. But um, these are where your leads will populate. A lead is considered somebody who hasn't bought. So that's um, from a vocabulary standpoint, that's what a lead is. Uh, if you click on details, this is a lead screen. So examining this, um, we tried to map it exactly to what you're seeing in the bot or, or what the client would see in the bot. So that way, uh, when your team logs in, um, they're using the same terminology and, and uh, pricing that was given to them through the bot, which is really your, your pricing anyway. So um, in here, you have customer name, address, phone number, email. These are uh, both click to email and click to call. So um, you can access this on a mobile device. I will forewarn you, we're working on mobile optimizing this. It will work on mobile um, but we're going to make it more mobile friendly over time here. So uh, you can use it on mobile for the click to call, click to text. But uh, initially with this initial release, we're still working on mobile optimizing that. So in here, you can see these are the service categories that the client was interested in. Uh, in this case, it was seating, um, ant, flea and tick, and then the mowing program. Um, it will have exactly what they were quoted in the checkout, the taxes quoted, prepay percentage that was quoted in the checkout. Whoa, <laughs> got developer tools opening up here. Um, here's the measure image. You can click on this, expands it. Pretty awesome. And this is the Google Street View that we've built right into the dashboard. So you can have the measure image right here and you're looking at the Street View image and you can see like, hey, is this, you know, uh, did they color it in correctly or did they color it in incorrectly? Um, so let's go back to the dashboard. Uh, the other option is sales. And you can see it's loading here and it's loading in your sales. Um, same thing. Uh, you click details. It, uh, it brings you to do the detailed breakdown of that sale. What was sold, right? We need to know, um, obviously, their, their information, name, address, phone number, email. Uh, it has the date and time the sale was made, square footage right here at the top right corner, uh, the address of that sale, uh, sale type. Is it prepay? Is it auto pay? Is it installments? Is it uh, pay as you go? What What is the sale type? And then the amount authorized. Uh, so it has all of the relevant sale detail that you need. Um, you can see with prepay discount and with sales tax, all of that's outlined here in the sale tab. So you know, what we were missing with LawnBot was we were doing everything via email. And sometimes that gets super confusing, uh, especially when you're dealing with the volume that we're pushing through LawnBot. Um, so now you have one team where all of your, or one place where all of your team can log in and view this data in real time. So we're really excited about this. Um, if uh, in terms of the payments, and payment processing with the release of the new dashboard. We are also releasing our LawnBot payment vault. So um, we're going to be an, uh, uh, using three different payment options within LawnBot now. One is Stripe. So if you're using Stripe, you can continue to use Stripe. There's no problem with that. Two is Real Green Payment Processing. We're currently actively building that into LawnBot as, as we speak. And three is our new uh, LawnBot Payment Vault. And what that is, is it's a very secure PCI compliant way for you to get the original credit card data that was given during the LawnBot experience. So the workflow is, um, and there's going to be more videos uh, on this, but at a really high level, um, client goes through LawnBot. They get to the end. They're like, yes, I want to I want to do auto pay. OK, I'm buying these services. Right. And they're authorizing an amount. So nothing is charged during LawnBot, but the sale is made and we're getting the credit card data for your team to log in here. And when they're ready to set it up in service autopilot or real green or wherever, um, they can click credit card and it's going to ask them to authorize the device. I've already, this is an older record, but it's going to ask you to authorize the device. That's part of PCI compliance. 
and then it's going to reveal the card information and the CVV code. Uh, big thing, and there's going to be a whole video and article on this, is in terms of our LawnBot payment vault, once you reveal the CVV code, it's only good. You can only go back in and view it for 30 minutes. Now, that's part of PCI compliance. That's not anything we do. And in most cases, from, from our early testing, um, you only need access to it for a few minutes anyway. So, Because once you grab it, you're setting up auto pay in your system or you're setting it up wherever you set up auto pay, um, that kind of thought pattern. So that's that on the, the Lombot Payment Vault. You scroll down here. We're, we're currently um, we're launching without the audit log. Um, we really want to make sure this is a, a deep and detailed uh, feature, so we're still working on that. And then um, service questions right now lives under user feedback, but eventually it will live down here in service questions. Um, so that's kind of a tour there. So if we go back to the dashboard, uh, again, chat sales leads revenue. And uh, let's see here. If we click on quotes, it's going to give you a, th this is your live feed. So if you want to see your total feed, um, it brings all of them together. So you're seeing leads, you're seeing sales all in one feed. And again, these are newest to oldest. So that means your most recent ones are going to be at the top. And you can see that it's all date and time stamped right here. So you can see exactly when those um, those chats happened and the result of those chats. You can also search by name. Uh, so if you're on the phone or your team is on the phone with somebody uh, and they're like, hey, I just went through your instant quote, but I had a question about something on there. Um, they can actually pull up this with them while they're on the phone um, and find the quote that that customer got and the measure image that was that the customer performed. So we think this is really, really fun and exciting. Um, we're going to be building new features over time. Um, this is uh, from a really high level. Just a quick overview of the LawnBot dashboard, and we're super pumped about it. And um, let's see here. And we can't wait for people to start using it and tell us their feedback, what you like, what you don't like. Um, don't be afraid to give us feedback via that chat bubble at the bottom right. Uh, the way we build things is when the feedback comes in, it all goes into uh, a product called Pivotal Tracker. And Pivotal Tracker, actually, uh, as the feedback comes in, we can upvote it or downvote it based on how popular that feedback is. And that's kind of how we decide what to build next and what to focus on. So with that, again, I want to thank you for being LawnBot customers. I want to thank you for believing in, in what we're doing. Uh, I hope you, I hope this new um, product really takes LawnBot to the next level and we want to make this the best product possible. So don't hesitate to reach out with any comments or feedback. We want to, we want to hear feedback from our customers because this is our first business facing product. Uh, LawnBot is a consumer facing product. The homeowners use it. This is our first tool for um, our companies that utilize our platform. So Really hope everybody's doing well. I'm so excited to get this out into the world. It was it's been a three month sprint, but really, I mean, when we had the initial idea for LawnBot, um, this was at the top of our list for building. It's just you know, like, I mean, we're six, seven, eight months into this. To however you want to judge the timing, um, you can only build so much so quickly. So we're building our team, we're building our product, and we're trying to make the best product possible. Uh, that you can use to make your business look the best it can be. So uh, really appreciate everybody's business. And um, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you uh, um, tune in for future videos and updates uh, about features and functionality that we're going to be adding to the LawnBot dashboard. Thanks, guys.